Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters? Today I wanted to showcase my TB3B uh, from Vito. Um, I just got laid off of a solar farm and I uh, wanted to kind of show off my loadout before I dismantle it. Um, this set out is particularly uh, uh, geared towards working on a solar farm if you're an apprentice. I got a lot of compliments on it on the job site. I even had a master electrician kind of hype it up and you know he was he was like man that's all you need you know and and really you know I, I can't disagree you know as a union electrician apprentice uh you know we, we just want to carry on our person uh whatever's on the tool list so this this thing is heavy duty enough to you know uh let you make it in the elements and that's what a solar farm is all about i mean you're you're out there you know getting your ass kicked by the sun and you're in the mud and the rain you're in the elements so that that hard bottom definitely shined quite nice uh you're gonna have to excuse the cleanliness of my tools they're all muddy because again you know i was working in a mud pit but uh without further ado uh, we'll start off with the, uh, I guess the tape measure. It's just a Milwaukee 25 footer. It's non-magnetic because, well, you know, being out in the field, you don't really, uh, you don't really come across too many uh, metallic things, you know, as far as like measuring EMT or picking up nuts and bolts where it would shine. I, I did have one on the job site, however, it, <laughs> I dropped it in some fucking mud and. Uh, it, it it rusted it rusted shut you know uh pretty much garbage after that you know um when you're working out on the solar farm you're definitely gonna have to watch out for the fucking mud mud and uh water because uh it will ruin a lot of your tools or at least get them really rusted and dirty as you can see uh mine are um we got right here uh, a pipe reamer i think it's a cobalt it was issued by the contractor because we were running a lot of uh, underground, a lot of PVC, Schedule 40 and Schedule 80. It was like mandatory, you know. Uh, the engineer just, he, he was a hard dick about it. You know, every pipe needed to be reamed, at, at least, you know, that was penetrating the ground and exposed uh, for the, uh, you know, take care of the wire or whatever. Got my uh, got my little ink saw right here. Got my fluke tester right here. Uh, the reason why I carried the fluke, you know, I just for my own safety. It, it's not really necessarily on uh, our tool list over here in Houston, but uh, I, I keep one on me, you know, just in case. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of things that were energized on the solar farm as we were building it from the ground up. But uh, you know, hey, I'm an electrician, so I'm gonna have a you know a fluke tester and I'm gonna have me some electric tape as well speaking of the electric tape um, I got this uh, chain right here off of Amazon seven eight bucks for electric tape holder um, yeah it, it's definitely a, a little nice uh, add-on I got my uh, got my pin right here you always got to have those you know, we're, you know, signing the JSA or signing the money sheet in the morning and signing out or taking notes or what have you, making a material list. You know, it's just always good to have something to write with. I got my, uh, my channies right here. These are the 10 inch Klein ones that are, uh, made in Germany. Pretty slick, pretty sweet, real thin. It's got no, uh, no rivet poking out so you, you can definitely get in those tight spaces with this thing and it's fast too it, it's very uh, reminiscent of the Nipix uh, the alligators I, I like them because like I said you know they're fast and you could just you know they're, they're real snappy you know of course you know they're a little snappier whenever they're oiled but that goes without saying um, right here as a divider I got me a little Klein pouch I like it. Uh, I, I keep my level in there and divide. Uh, you know, it kind of creates a, a front row, 
a back row and a middle row um, because um, other than that you have like this big like gaping hole in the middle I guess that's meant for a testing meter which you know you could always use that for that too but I try to utilize my bags to the fullest if possible as far as the level um, it's missing the the bolt on the side to make it a no dog but I, I didn't hardly use it anyway um, we got a Greenlee a Greenlee level I, I don't know if you can even tell it's a Greenlee anymore yeah right there it's all fucking all muddied up and shit behind that I got my Kleins I got the high vis you know they're looking a little rough everything's rough you know whatever right um I got my my little Nipix six inch pair right here I love these things you know I never leave home without them back here back left I got my big Klein screwdriver beater screwdriver whatever you want to call it staple back here I got my 11 in one the uh, the impact 11 in one from Klein that's probably my favorite screwdriver um, I also got my file right here I don't know if you noticed but I, I cut a little piece of pipe you know to that way I can just kind of toss my file in there without uh, scuffing up the bag or scuffing up the tools you know with the grooves uh, these back two right here are uh, my 4-in-1 uh, speed wrenches channel lock brand they're okay um, there's definitely nicer ones out there but you know uh, they were my uh, they're my beater pair for the solar farm and uh, yeah I guess that's about it um, I did like that you have this pocket right here I didn't really uh, use it on the farm but I always uh, carry kind of like a little reference sheet for uh, for numbers yeah buddy it's definitely come in handy you know, I know there's like apps or whatever but you know hey I got it right here in my my handy dandy tool pouch but I guess that's about it. You know, there's not really a whole lot to it. Again, this is just a, an apprentice loadout. Um, it got me by. I was able to make a lot of money with the with this setup. And I swear by it. I also like that it has this handle right here. You know, I, I would hardly ever uh, attach this uh, tool pouch to my belt or hip or whatever. You know, I, I would whenever I was working inside, but on the farm, you know, there's really no need. You just kind of carry it around and uh, set it in your general work area. You know, I was usually like in a, you know, a ditch or a trench or whatever. But uh, anyway, um, you, you got these D-rings on the side. I'm not utilizing this one right here. I was, but again, you know, I kind of like downsized it and minimized it to... Uh, you know to serve its purpose for what I was doing which was solar farm work anyway uh, that's all I got gentlemen and ladies I hope y'all enjoyed the video um, this thing's great I only paid about 75 on Amazon so uh, highly recommend it if you're considering getting you one anyway y'all have a blessed time Peace.